it's weird the way life works. I woke up, um, I don't know, four or five in the morning the other day, and I'm, I'm, my mind is racing. It's going everywhere, and I'm being hit with all of these different topics that I can use for my motivation, and you never know when God is going to speak to you. You never know when you're going to get that surge of inspiration and creativity. And when you get it, all you can do is just rock with it and go in that direction with no question. So as I'm literally in my bed and my eyes is wide open and I'm just trying to absorb everything that it literally woke me up out my sleep and I'm going one direction then I'm going another direction and then it all stopped and I just saw a key like literally a key and I'm like okay this is weird I just went from all of this inspiration and all of these thoughts to now God just put a random key in my head and I'm trying to make sense of what does this mean but as I'm laying there and I'm wide awake right now I start to think of a key in a way that I never thought of it before a key as simple and simplistic as it is it's also incredibly complex. And what I mean by that is we all have keys. We use keys every single day of our life. Some of us have multiple keys. We have keys to get into our homes. We have keys to start our cars. We just take these keys for granted. And you can have one key and that's key that one key can fit into a thousand locks but it will only open one just one it can literally fit in as many locks as you put it in but in order for it to turn, it has to be in the lock that it was created for. And I'm thinking of this and I'm like, I have a key, but that key is essentially useless unless I put it in the right lock. And the more I started to think about this thing, I looked at it, a key is nothing more than a tool. It's no different than a shovel. It's no different than a hammer. It's no different than a screwdriver. It's no different than GPS. In order for a key to work, you have to use it for what it was made for. If not, it defeats the purpose. And depending on how you use that key, the outcome can be dramatically different. On one hand, you can have a key and it is used to lock a man for the remainder of his natural life behind prison bars. But on the other hand, that same key can be used to open the front door of your dream house. Same key, dramatically different outcomes based on how you use it 
But you must be intentional about how you use it and you must find the right lock to use it in. And this past weekend, I was watching Jay-Z get inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And he was honored by Dave Chappelle. And as I'm watching these two men on stage, I'm thinking to myself like, my God, these are two of the most gifted men on the planet, literally on the planet in their respective arts. They're two of the most gifted men on the planet. And then my mind raced back to that key. And I'm saying to myself, whoa, a gift, a gift, depending on how you use it, it can have dramatically different outcomes. Dramatically, a gift, that thing that we all possess, every single one of us, whether we've identified it or not, we were born with a gift. But how we use it, the outcome to our life can completely change. And as I'm watching these two men on stage, I thought back to a young Jay-Z. And this man was obviously gifted with business intelligence. He was obviously gifted with a business savvy that most people don't have at his tender young age. And it made him a very successful drug dealer in Marcy Projects, Brooklyn, New York. But when he decided to use that same gift to become the businessman that God put him here to be, it has been a dramatically different outcome for Sean, Car for Sean Carter. When people look at Sean Carter today, they almost don't recognize that this was a man who was running drugs up and down 95 South. They almost don't recognize that this was a man that comes from some of the hardest projects in the city of New York. And the only thing different is that he recognized his gift was the key. That was the key. And if I use it differently, my life changes. Even as I watch Dave Chappelle on that stage, and everybody is arguably more excited to see Dave than they were to see Jay on Jay's night. 20 something years ago, Dave was funny as hell. He was born with comedic timing. He was born naturally funny. But when he was just doing jokes to make people laugh, his career only went to one point. But that same man using that same gift now in 2021 to make a political statement, to speak out against his ability to have free speech. Now, Dave Chappelle is on a completely different level. Same man, same gift, but he used it as a key to unlock extreme success. How are you using your gift movers? Your gift is the key. Find 
your gift. Yes, naturally speaking, sometimes we lose our keys. Find yours because your gift, that is the key to your success. If you use it right, your entire existence will change because God put the gift in us for one reason and one reason only. Just like that key. A key's job is to open something, to give you access to something. Well, that gift is the same thing. God put it in us to open us to a new world, to give us access to new things. Use it. Stop worrying about other people. Stop worrying that your gift is not on the same level as somebody else's. If it's in you, use it. But you can't be confused about your gift because it really comes down to how are you using it? I look at Floyd Mayweather, close to a billion dollars in the bank, undefeated 50 and zero. Superstar boxer, but his gift, what got him the wealth, the belts, it wasn't necessarily the boxing, it was hard work, dedication, and he aligned it with boxing. And that took him over to a new stratosphere. Same thing, Elon Musk. His gift is not Tesla, that's the reward for using his gift. His true gift is visionary. His true gift is the business savvy. His true gift is taking something that others can't see and bringing it to fruition. And then you get a Tesla. No different than the late Steve Jobs. How are you using your gift movers? We all know Michael Jordan, six rings. He is the GOAT. There is nobody better than Jordan. When you speak of a LeBron, you speak of a Kobe, you speak of a Shaq, they're all compared to one man and one man only, Michael Jordan. He's born with incredible work ethic, born with incredible athletic ability. He is born relentless. But he went and played for the White Sox, their minor team, and he sucked. He went and took all of those gifts and he used it in a different sport. Same man, same gifts, same natural ability, vastly different outcomes. Movers, how are you using your gifts? Align your gifts with your purpose. Because when you do that, the sky is the limit. Some of y'all are too scared to hold on and claim that thing that God gave to you and you only. I'm giving you permission tonight. Grab it, hold on to it, claim it, and then align it with your purpose, your gift. That's the key to success. It's that simple. If you take that gift and you put it in that right lock and you turn, a new world is going to open. A new existence is going to open. More access is going to open. But you can't be afraid. Turn the key. That's all you have 
to do, movers, turn the key. You have the gift. We all got it. The real question is, how are you using it? And if you're not afraid to go out there despite what others think and use that gift for your God-given purpose, I promise you one day it'll be you that's inspiring a generation of power move makers. Peace and love, y'all.